Hello everyone, in this tutorial, let's look at how to record a Zoom meeting for a broadcast interview. All right, so this, I have an account that is a corporate account, University of Arkansas right here, and this account allows me to set up and send meetings that are beyond 40 minutes. But even if you don't have a corporate account, you can also use just regular uh, account with any email and set up an account and use a Zoom interview up to 40 minutes. And I bet you will be done with the interview in less than 40 minutes. And there are a couple of things that you need to consider when you are scheduling a meeting. So let me go through those really quick. So I'm not gonna go through all these details. You guys are all familiar with this. Uh, only right here is something to be careful of. So here, uh, if you have a corporate account and if you're sending it out to somebody who doesn't have a corporate account, you do, like if they're not part of University of Arkansas, I'm going to sign in to Zoom with any account. So this will allow uh, people with any accounts to join my Zoom meeting. Otherwise, the Zoom will keep blocking them from my meeting that I'm about to schedule. So I think that's about it. And make sure that I don't forget to actually record my Zoom meeting. I also click on the automatically record meeting on the local computer. Uh, you can do it in the cloud, but this works better in my situation. So I do that. All right, so once I save, uh, it will give me these, um, this information right here. And what I usually do, I just copy this invitation and I copy this meeting inv invitation and I email it to the person that I'm about to interview. So once they get the link, and in my case, I kind of email it to myself to walk you through. And let's say I'm about, about that time to start the interview. I'm gonna bring in this window here. So this is me, the reporter, uh, initiating the meeting. So I'm gonna say start, I'm gonna click on start and about to start my interview. And I'm going to join with my computer audio. And also I'm gonna start my video and you have two videos of me right there. And I'm actually gonna mute myself here. So I'm ready, I'm waiting for the other person to join. And the other person is me on this computer so Give me a second here to join the meeting. And I am connecting right now. And this is telling me right here, hey, Hyatt is waiting for you in the Zoom meeting. So I'm going to continue because it's asking me, hey, this has been recorded. And I know this has been recorded. This so, meeting is being recorded. Yeah. And I'm going to turn on my camera and it is in a vertical mode. So the first thing first, if you are setting up an interview and talking to somebody for sure, please ask them to put their camera in a vertical mode. That way you can actually use your inner stories. Otherwise you'll have two black holes, not holes, like lines on each side, vertical video. And for the sake of this example, I'm going to put my phone right about there uh, for my interview so I can see what's happening there too and I think that is all looking fine and before you start your interview here are some tips that I put together that would be good for you to go over with the interviewee and also maybe you can even text these or email these ahead of time to the person so you're not wasting their time and you're not wasting your time so you can just get right to the interview. Uh, so here they are. So make sure they raise the camera at the same eye level. So right now it's kind of looks okay, but it would actually look better if the camera would be on the same eye level as I am, something like that, uh, right about there. So that way we are not having a whole lot of headroom or without cutting the headroom up on top. So right now it's being cut. So make sure you tell them to adjust the video there and make sure they are in the center of the shot right there. And the next tip is tilt the camera down, fill the frame. We just actually covered that a second ago. 
uh, to where there's not a whole lot of headroom and not too little. So we gotta strike that balance. And if there's a whole lot of, um, if there's not a lot of light on them, just ask them to move to some place where they are not backlit. Because if they're like against with their back to the window, their face is gonna look all dark and you want to avoid all that. So make sure you turn them around to get some of that light on their face so we can see them better. And I kind of forgot about it, but make sure their cameras and their device is fixed so they're not holding it the whole time. Otherwise, they're going to get really tired while they're being interviewed. All right, so the next one is background. Clean background, avoid mugshot look. So um, make sure you're not, the person, is, the person being interviewed is not too close to the background because that's going to look like a mugshot and make sure there's the, the background is not like distractingly cluttered so I mean you can gently ask them elegantly to move somewhere else if there is something distracting in the background that um, we are looking at instead of looking at the person audio yes tell them to stay fairly close to the camera um, to or to the actual microphone and if they have earbuds or I'm looking for earbuds here, or if they have AirPods, that would really help to isolate all the noise around them. And like I said, go ahead, send these tips to them ahead of time so you're saving some time there. All right, getting back to our actual Zoom interview. So, a couple of things to consider here. Make sure you're not in a gallery mode. You could use the gallery mode, and Zoom allows you to do that, but then you'll you'll kind of crop your interview and you'll sometimes when you're asking the question that would be okay but for the sake of the this interview because we are focusing on the actual person I would actually keep it on the gallery view and expand it and make it big and also right now I'm recording it <laughs> don't forget to record it for sure because otherwise that will be uh, disastrous and right now I just touched my lens and be careful if they are adjusting the camera and touching their lens it's actually they may smudge it and if the shot is not clear just ask them if they could wipe the lens before they get start off the selfie camera right there and then you can get start with the interview once you check the audio and all that stuff you can get started and in my case, I think those are the, all the tips that I wanted to share with you as far as recording the interview goes. Let's see how we can actually end this interview and how we can save this uh, movie clip to edit later. All right, so I'm going to end this interview. And right now, here's what's happening. So just like uh, on any computer, Right now, the Zoom meeting is being compressed and being recorded and saved as a movie file to my computer. So if I click once this thing is done, and if I click on my documents, uh, I will have a folder called a Zoom folder. And right now, my meeting is being saved to my computer, which is cool. So once it's on my computer, I can actually take it and save it on, I, I could import it into the Premiere Pro and start uh, my editing there. So let me just check it. There you go. Here is the interview that we have recorded previously. There you go. So this is the interview that has been recorded and we can use that. So just reminding you, this is uh, not me talking to myself. This is somebody who is being interviewed in my shot and this has been recorded all right so with that i think uh, this should be enough for this tutorial i hope this was helpful and let me know if you have any questions or comments all right thank you